In this video, we will show you how to replace your front bumper impact absorber. On this Nissan Altima, this will be located behind your front bumper cover. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. Open the hood and we'll remove our forward radiator cover. For this, you'll find that it has several push pins that make their way across. To remove any of the push pins, lift out the center to unlock it and then lift out the outer portion. You can use a trim tool or a small screwdriver. As you remove them, just give them a quick inspection, make sure they are reusable, otherwise you can just go ahead and replace them. Now we can take hold of this and remove it from the vehicle. Under the front of your vehicle, you should have a plastic plate that makes its way across this area. Ours is missing and the front bumper cover is a little broken, but typically there is a couple bolts and some push clips. Go ahead and remove those. After you have those out of place, we'll be continuing along each side. You're going to find that you have four Phillips head screws across each side and then you can make your way into the wheel well. Now that we have those screws out of place, we'll continue making our way up inside the wheel well. Along each corner in this area, you're going to find that you have a mounting screw that you will have to remove. Now we have to gain access to that. Take hold of the bumper cover, stretch it away from the inside wheel well, and then start carefully pulling the wheel well away from the area. Be careful for any pinch points. We need to bring it all the way up here and we'll hold it in place with something as basic as a chunk of wood. that in there. Now looking up in this area, you're going to find that you have an eight millimeter headed bolt that comes from the top down with a 10 millimeter headed nut. Remove the pair. At this point, you can take hold of your bumper cover, give it a wiggle, and start pulling it away from the fender. Let's pause on this side of the vehicle and do the exact same thing on the other side of the vehicle. Once we've done that, we'll meet in the engine compartment. Back up in the engine compartment, we'll be removing these five push clips that make their way all the way across. You know how to do it. Remove the center, then remove the outer portion. Once you have these out of place, we'll carefully start prying the bumper cover straight out and away. Hold that bumper cover in place with your knee. With all the push clips out of the way, we'll be continuing on with a flat blade screwdriver. Carefully make your way inside of this area, right along this notch. We want to pry up against the bumper cover and this area and gently separate it. There's one side. And the other side came apart already. Anyways, you would just come right along this side here and remove the bumper cover. With the front bumper cover out of the way, we have a clear view of our impact absorber cover. You'll find on each side of it, you do have a plastic push clip to remove. We'll remove the center to unlock it and then the outer portion here. Quick inspection. We have movement. Do the same on the other side. Now we can take hold of this and slide it away from the vehicle. There it is, friend. Let's give this a close inspection and set it aside. Let's move along to removing our air temp sensor, which is across the front here. You can use a trim tool, small prying device. 
Just make your way inside this area and gently separate it. We do need to reuse this, so we're trying not to break it. Follow that wiring harness. Corner here. Here we are. At this point, we can leave this hanging away from the impact absorber. Along the top center of the impact absorber, close to the horns, you're going to find that you have two 10 millimeter headed bolts holding this plastic bracket down to the impact absorber. Go ahead and remove the pair. At this point, if you were to look along each side of the impact absorber, looking inside of this area, you'll find that you have four 13 millimeter headed mounting nuts. We're going to remove three of these, but leave one in place. We'll leave it loose. Just give that a quick inspection. Started on a couple threads here. Let's pause on this side, make our way over to the other side of the impact absorber. Let's get this last one over here. Now we'll finish removing our final mounting nut that we had loose. Take hold of the impact absorber and remove it from the vehicle. Set it aside. Let's go ahead and coat the studs on our bumper brackets. We'll do both sides of the vehicle with blue thread locker. Once we've done that, we can continue on with our impact absorber. Go ahead and take that and slide it into position, aligning all four of the studs on each side. Start on your 13 millimeter headed mounting nuts. Once you have all of them started, you can continue on to tightening them. With both sides of the mounting nuts started on, we'll tighten them up. Now that we have those snug, let's torque these to 20 foot pounds. Let's start in the two center bolts and snug them up. Now we'll continue on with our air temp sensor wiring. Make our way across here. Should just press right in along the bottom of the impact absorber. Let's get our impact absorber cover in place. Slide into the grooves here. Once you feel as though you have them in place, align the push pin holes and put them in. Now we can bring the bumper cover over to the vehicle and align it up along the top. While holding this in position, we'll continue on with our five push clips. For each of the push clips, you just want to have the outer portion in, and then you can lock it in by pressing in the center. These five push clips are the areas that are holding the bumper cover to this panel behind it. With those clips in place, we'll continue on aligning the rest of the bumper cover. Bring it up close to the headlight, 
along the fender and press it into position. It is common for this to want to pop back out because you should have a screw in this area. We're going to pause here, do the same on the other side, and then we'll continue on with the mounting screw inside the wheel well. Now in the wheel well, we'll be continuing on with our mounting bolt here. Bring that up and through the bumper cover. Align it with its mounting point. Start it in and snug it up. We'll press this into position. Just slide it right behind the bumper cover. There we are. Once you've done the same on the other side of the vehicle, we'll make our way underneath the bumper cover. Continue on with your Phillips head screws. Same on the other side. We'll get this in position and put in all of our push tabs. Okay, friend, we've got our vehicle back together. At this point, go ahead and close the hood, take your vehicle for a road test, and listen for funny noises. Aside from that, thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.